Okay, Nightmare Zone Survivors, time to get back in. Fox returns to State of Decay 2 for episode 11. And we're pretty close to moving into the next base. I think I'm up to like 1100-ish influence. We need 1500 to get in. And I'm under no pretense that those guys are going to be good. I mean, they, they could have really bad traits. We may have to live with them for a little while and, like, phase them out over time. Or maybe we'll get super lucky and their traits will either be average to slightly below average, where it's, like, workable. But we are almost there. We are almost at the point where we can finally move in. That's when we are going to gain a lot of power, because we'll be able to have access to a large facility slot. And that means I'll finally be able to build the trade depot. Uh, that's going to be giving us the ability to call in the various merchants and calling in the other merchants. That's going to be one of the ways we fill out our mod slots and get some of the really good ones. So, looks like today is a nighttime episode. I can't remember if this is the character I'm supposed to be using or not. I don't think it matters just because I want to use, uh, what's her name? Tiffany. Because her running skill hasn't been maxed out yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. This also gives me a chance to kind of check how the, the community is looking at the moment. Kind of have a diagnostics report. Put this crap back. Pull out the shotgun, pull out this. Um, I'll carry a one, one full reload. And I will bring... We all have military and tactical training. We'd like to help you, if you can afford our services. Now I gotta equip this character. On route to you now. I said I gotta equip this character. We're gonna want some first aid kits, which aren't easy to come. Oh my god, we are not gonna come cheap. They're, they're driving a real hard bargain. It's so hard that I'm just not going to do it. There we go. Now we're ready to leave after we check the base. Let's see. We don't need to do anything with that. Do we need to do anything with this? We can upgrade to the level 3 garden. But I don't think I'm going to do that yet. I hear some zombies outside. Nosy as usual. Let's check the car to see if it needs anything. It'll need a fuel can, and that's it. Let's check the damage on it. A little banged up, but we lost one of the rear doors. That doesn't really matter. Let's just get in and have it scan real quick. Immediately revealing some of the nastiness nearby. So what do we want to do in this episode? We could continue looting this area. Because we got our outpost there. We could also put another outpost down. Not over here. We could put an outpost near these guys. Uh, there's a lot of looting to be had in here. And even though these guys aren't allies, they're not enemies. That's the main thing that matters is that they're not enemies of ours. That seems like a pretty good idea. What building would I want to claim though? Probably this bedroom. Ugh, looks like we got company. I should probably help out. Uh, yeah. That's called drug dealing. 
Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Okay, I guess it wasn't the mightiest of hordes, although the 50 caliber goes through their body armor, so that also, they could have picked a few of them off. So, let's see, how much influence do I have? Yeah, I got 1100, as I thought. So that's what we need to do, we just need to focus on getting influence right now. How, how am I going to go over there? I'm going to probably drive along the road, since it's nighttime. All right, and now we can get on our way. So channel news as we drive there. The top six mods is basically done. I rendered out the video, and I'm going to watch the video in its rendered form one more time just to make sure everything is correct. And then I'm going, if it's not correct, I got to go back and, you know, redo the process, edit it, print it out, and then watch it again. But if it is done, then I will be uploading it probably the day after. I'll still have to come up with a thumbnail. Those, those, the guides require a much more specific thumbnail, which can be annoying since thumbnails are a really important part of YouTube. You really got to have thumbnails that stand apart from your competitors, thumbnails that really catch people's eye, that... It's all about being concise, like saying the largest amount with the smallest amount because, you know, people who are just browsing videos, you just want something that jumps out at them. Oh, I need to click on this video. You got to tell them enough information to get them, basically with a small picture, you have to tell them enough information that's like, oh yeah, I definitely want to see what this is about. Which is why in the top six mods, I was like, I don't know, like, this video is about, like, overpowered, and it's about gameplay mechanics, so I I basically created this transition between a, a nuke going off, something that everyone could recognize as being OP, and then, like, a whole bunch of, like, heavy-duty industrial gears churning to, like, represent, like, the churning game mechanics in the Gotta game. Just alert. Too many always trying to, like, around. something simple and striking, that's always what you're looking for. I am thinking about what game to do next because I'm almost done with Oxygen Not Included. I'll be doing another season of Oxygen Not Included. Well, I'll be doing one for every asteroid, most likely. But, um... Not immediately after completing the game once. Because it takes so long to do, I will definitely be taking a break. At least a week, maybe two weeks off of it before I return to it. And there's three games that I'm picking from. Because I don't suspect that I would do more than one at a time. There is a possibility I might do two at a time due to one of the games might not be like a day, might be like an every other day kind of thing, or maybe it might even be irregular. Oh, didn't see that vehicle in my way. But the uh, the three games I'm picking between are... Seeing anything useful in here. Let me make sure this area is secure first. I hear somebody. Okay. I think there's a screamer outside too. Oh good, he just turned around just in time. Just in time to be assassinated. Okay, so this one's a more expensive 400 I'm influence. The new outpost looks good. And there is a screamer. I recognize that raspy voice. <gasps> I am going to want to do something about that screamer before it becomes a problem. Oh, that's right, I have stealth on this character, so I can... Second Screamer, huh? While those guys are investigating, we'll go ahead to our first area to loot, which is this little... 
Carpool? I don't know what you would call this place. Carport. Anyways, yeah, so the three games I'm thinking about doing, the one I'm leaning the most towards is a game called Subnautica, which is... Oh, we got an item. Biker Vest, Gibraltar Trikes. Nobody ever messed with these folks. Toolkit. We'll take all of this stuff. Pretty good stuff overall. Uh, one of them is Subnautica. That is, this game is going on two years old, but it just had an expansion recently that came out this year. And it is a really fascinating game. I, I played it for basically ten hours. Just to see, like, you know, is this the kind of game that I would like to play? Is this something I want to play on the channel? And I was really, like, I was really into it. I was, it, it took, I was actually really unproductive that day as I was only able to get just the bare minimum responsibilities done because I was really hooked on the game. So that's one that I'm definitely leaning towards. But uh, in addition to that... And I would like to just point out that I'll probably play all three of these games. It, it, it's just the order that is the the question that I'm wondering. The uh, Another game will be, of course, there's Dying Light. I do want to play that in preparation for the sequel. I still am questioning whether or not the channel is going to be big enough to really benefit from playing Dying Light 2, because Dying Light 2 might be, might be a little too popular and the channel might get squeezed out by the bigger, like, the bigger channels out there. But it's still something that, basically, I, I, I'm not entirely certain. Like, it's, on one end, it's a concern, but I'm not completely sold that that's a possibility, so maybe I'll just try it, and we'll see how it goes. Put this away. And uh, the third game, of course, is Outer Worlds, like I said earlier. Outer Worlds is a... I'm told it's a very short game. It's only like 10 to 15 hours, depending on your pace. And, uh, you know, that means that, well, it might be what game that gets completed very quickly, so that's also a benefit. Out of all those games, the one that I want to play the most is Subnautica. I think that those of you guys who are really into, like, adventure and exploration will just be absolutely enthralled with the game, because fascinating underwater survival game on a ocean planet, an alien ocean planet. Very interesting. Pretty good stuff here. Got a book that we can use so that we can upgrade. We can either use it or we can sell it. Both of them have a valid function. I haven't forgot about Project Zomboid either. I think I'm going to be playing Project Zomboid similar to how I was playing Oxygen Not Included, where I was running two save files at once, clear. where I was basically playing the game. Uh, I was playing the game on my own to learn the game so that I don't spend too much time just kind of like wandering around like, what the heck am I doing in the, the playthrough that I was actually uploading? Oh, looks like we got to go dump our stuff off. Looks like it's becoming daylight. I don't remember playing through the night that much, but what the heck do I know? Okay, that screamer is still there. I'm gonna definitely level up our... What do you call it? cardio quite a bit doing this, so that that's another big advantage. I want to get rid of that screamer really bad. That'll shut it up. Okay, cardio time. Okay, let's clean up this house, and then we'll move on. Here's the yeah. final one, and then I know I left some stuff inside as well. No prize in here. Okay.
Very nice. Okay, there's the bloater. And another screamer. That one's far enough away that I don't really care about it. Basically, I can't hear it. I see some wits EXP walking around. Oh, God. Yep, that's definitely a feral. Darn. Don't know what direction they want to approach from, so let's just move away from that area in general. Yeah, the key to dealing with ferals one-on-one -on -one is, uh, I know it might sound strange, not strange, but like, well, how do you expect me to do that? Is one, don't make too much noise when fighting a feral. Because one of the problems is the feral one-on-one -on -one is typically not a big deal as long as you don't panic. The problem is that you typically make noise and draw more zombies in. That tends to be the real problem. So those zombies over there, you can already see they came to investigate the sound of the shotgun. That's fine. Investigate away. And then what you do is take advantage of the fact that Barrels, they go all in. Like, they, compl they they commit to their attacks. Like, when they attack, they attack. Let's just get off. Stop them from beating my vehicle up. Guess we should see what these guys are selling as well. I need to level up my fighting as well. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some... ...flake samples here? Ow. You can see how they're all... ...focusing on me right now. Ah, oh, there he is. So, that time, the zombie did have a sound effect for his shout. Not a consistent thing, though. Drop rate, not too good. Got another horde coming in though. I'm looking to trade. Sounds what are you selling? Ah, we're gonna fight these guys. <laughs> yeah, fine. Just bring them all in, and we'll kill them all. As long as it's regular zombies. Okay. Let's see. So they're not selling anything too great. We'll sell that to them. We got a little bagged up. Some of it's because there's some of the stupid attacks that the zombies can do that I don't agree with. I don't. I don't agree with these. Uh, I don't agree with that they program the zombies to be able to do their their charging attack, like their running charge attack, without running. Like they shouldn't be able to move into their charging attack from standing still. I gotta stay alert. Too many plague zombies around. To be because it's like it's just not something that We're zombie free for now. it's it's an extremely random attack that you can't really plan too well for, and it also doesn't make sense. And it's not an issue so much of realism so much as 
attacks should telegraph at least to enough that you can react to them in some way, but when they just... That was an interesting roar. Sounds like a juggernaut. Don't care too much about that. In fact, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to take him out. Oops. Too loud. And I might be able to rob the kill off of him. Yeah, give me that 100 influence. There we go. And some plague samples. More plague samples. We needed these because... We weren't able to make any plague cures. What's up? Have you got anything to trade? Sounds good. Uh, I don't want to sell any of this stuff. This is all stuff that I want to keep. Day, oh my god. Something. We can fast loot in this area. We got these guys here. I'm sure they don't mind fighting just a few more zombies. Especially while I hide in the back over here. Take that, motherfucker. Another juggernaut. What if I lured over to them and they kill it too? Keep pushing, then rest. Okay, let's uh, drop this stuff off. It sounds like there's like a heavy vehicle in my neighborhood backing up because I hear it beeping. I'm always, I always try to find a quiet time to record and I don't know why everyone insists on being super loud right now. Excellent. Cardio's up. Oh, man, that's tough. Because we have stealth, so it kind of makes me want to take Marathon, but on the other hand, I really like backpacking. I think I will go with Marathon, though, because, like, that's just... I think... Normally, I would go backpacking, but because we chose stealth, I think we should go Marathon in that case. I think I will drop those to give us one more item, because I don't think we're going to be using stamina near our allies that frequently. Actually, we're going to change characters because she's a bit banged up. Oops. This weapon is totaled. We might as well just scrap it. Who are we gonna use? Who needs to level up? You do. Back in with Guinevere then. Time for me to focus on my needs for a bit. Uh -huh. I hate personal quests so much. Like I, I never want to do personal quests. Give me a few bullets. Reload it. Even though there are a few personal quests that that aren't bad, I just don't want to do them. Like, I, I actually don't enjoy questing in this game, really. I, I like making up my own objectives and doing my own thing. I do not enjoy doing the programmed quests. I mean, there are a few that are really valuable to do. But in terms of, like, what do I find entertaining? In general, I just hate questing in general. I, do, I don't like questing. I get, like... It's probably because I've played World of Warcraft for so long. 
I've played World of Warcraft basically since it's been out, so about 15 years, and I've been questing for so long that I'm just so sick of it. Like, I, I've just developed this intense dislike of quests. And I, and in return, I've come to really enjoy open-ended games, like much more sandbox-styled games. I think what I'm going to do, I want to save a little space, so I'm going to take some of this stuff out. I'm just going to leave the toolkit. Okay, so we want to go back over here and loot this area. Or more things I could do. I could go a little lighter on my gear in order to carry more stuff. But we've already had a random feral attack, and we just had that juggernaut attack, so I think I think I'd prefer to keep my gear on. If this were standard zone, no doubt about it, I would just I would just carry my weapon and just use the maximum inventory available. Backpack, probably sell that one. What I want to do is just gather as much as loot as I can within our episode time, and then I will sell off all the crap at the end. Well, all the crap that we want to sell, at least. This is a microscope. Oh, I see. This is probably like a pawn shop or something, a microscope for checking checking the uh, the authenticity of gems or something. No place to put that. Go sell, and then we'll grab the note and also sell. Is there anything I want to... Now we're going to sell this stuff. goes you got something for me i'm on board with that sell the chemicals sell the backpack i'll keep the rest of it though let's go grab the note and sell the note as well the note was right here Oh, I forgot. We don't have maxed out cardio. What is your cardio going to be? Powerhouse? Uh, so you'll never be extremely good at running anyways. You'll just be decent at running. Let's get down to business. Sure. Okay, an extra 13 for the note. Fine. Enemies are starting to close in a little bit, likely due to us staying in the same basic area. this crap away I'm hoping to, I was hoping to find more luxury items and mods to sell that's mainly what I want but we're getting a lot of knickknacks we have a few zombies heading our way but they'll never get past our defenses yeah, I'm gonna lure that juggernaut over I think nice that's an extra hundred ish influence or so First, let's get rid of the regular zombies, though. Watch out. You need to improve your fighting as well. That sounds like he's got an arctic warrior. Let's go get the Juggernaut to come over.
Looks like we got only the Juggernaut as well, so... The, the Juggernaut, despite his deep voice, he's actually not that loud himself. And we might even be able to protect these guys by baiting the Juggernaut with our body, just making him kind of ring around the rosy around us. Or he's just going to go after him directly. I'll cover him by taking these guys out. Okay, they... I don't know how many times they've staggered him, but so far so good. That's at least two. Yeah, go for me. Now don't go for them, go for me. Ugh. I know they're gonna feel that. And the weak shall be mighty, motherfucker. Very nice. So we've gotten 200 influence off of some free juggernaut kills. Could also get some plague samples from that. How are we looking on influence? Oh, those weren't those didn't count or something? Like we oh never mind, never mind, never mind. We bought the we bought the location. Let's say like I'm pretty sure I bet the exact same influence I was at earlier. Just saying. Well, all that means is that we've recovered our initial expenses, not including if we remove the the outpost as well. Not nah, they're gonna hear that. So let's go and drive over here. Okay. Let them handle that while we go loot. Jolly Collie Tavern. We could find some alcohol to sell here. That would be pretty good. Can do it. Fighting five stars. Almost there. Okay, let's see. Only two lootables here. And they're right next to each other. That's super convenient. Excellent, I'll take both of those. I need a luxury item or a mod, that's what I need. Is that it? More of that. That's gonna be really useful later on. We need that in order to make our strong painkillers. Ah, uh, nope. We still got company. <laughs> okay. All these constant hordes due to the play guard. Oh wait, there's a building right here. We're all clear. Hopefully we're starting a trend. It's like those guys are like, oh my gosh, like our our assistance doesn't come free. I'm like, oh sure it does. All I gotta do is uh, loot in your area, and your assistance does come for free. There's nothing to it. So I think I want this building, and I want that building next door, or across the street, rather. And then I will take a look at what we have to sell, if anything. In case I, I might want most of the stuff. There we go. Scouting is almost maxed out. Okay, good. Those zombies wandered away completely. Well, not completely, but they are. They're in the process of going somewhere I don't care. And we'll check out the seconds auto repair. So See what we get. Tired. Man, like, the, the game has been really stingy with luxury items. Usually that's one of the, like, kind of, like, Uncommon, but still, you know, they pop up somewhat regularly. They're, they're they're only uncommon. I wouldn't call them rare, but we're just not really getting a lot of luxury items. It's 
snacks. Still more knickknacks. The jugs of ethanol are pretty good, though. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, come on! Why would you do that, game? Just polish up the car some more. Even though it doesn't look very damaged, you can repair the car pretty far. But you'll see that the uh, the chrome, the, the chassis gets unbent more. There, now it's looking pretty good. Might as well just drop some of this stuff off. The area is fairly clear too, so there's another opportunity to get a little bit of cardio. Part of the good news is that I wanted to pull out a gas tank anyways for our car on the way home, but don't even have to worry about that. And we've got nothing. Maybe I won't sell, because I, I want to get home in time. Oh, um, that's right, the second's auto repair. I want to get home in time in order to not lose our ammo, as well as get 50 free influence. I'll be get a fast search. I think I've searched everywhere I can. <laughs> Refuel, and then we will hopefully make it home. We got about a minute to go. It's daytime though, so we can drive a little more crazily. So that was very good for our car, like we got fuel that compensated for the trip, and we got several repair kits in order to keep the vehicle in good shape, so overall not too bad. Whoa, almost ran into that car at pretty high speed. I said we could drive more crazily, but we can't drive like a complete madman. Not sure if we're going to make it or not. Leaning on kind of the no-ish side. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time, so that's going to be kissing our three ammo goodbye. Which, I mean, is actually a little bit annoying. Because ammo hasn't been super common. All of the ammo areas have been pre-looted, which is annoying. Yeah, we needed another... Next time, they're gonna hit twice as hard. Oh, probably needed another 30 seconds to get there. But one of the ways we can get ammo is we can just call in... We can just radio in for more ammo by asking for, like, people to check around for ammo. Also, we can just buy ammo with the trade depot once we actually get it constructed. We put this stuff in. Actually, what we can do is upgrade this. Really? I see him too. He's like 50 influence if I could find him. Don't know where he skittered off to though. No way. 
No, you don't. Now I can switch. Now I get distance on them. And then I blast them. Looks like there's more than one of them. Guess he's back. You grab a little bit of shotgun ammo. Just in case he brought his uh, buddies to play. If I get him, that's another 50 influence. Hey, you're gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think I ever finished my thought there. The key to killing the ferals is to dodge in the opposite direction of their attacks, because they just completely commit to the attacks. Wow, did I just shoot through them? Yeah, I think I just shot right through them. I think I got a two-for-one there. That's pretty convenient. But yeah, since they fully commit to their attacks, if you dodge basically through them, you'll actually produce quite a bit of distance between yourself and the Feral, and that allows you to line up your shot to kill him. There he is, I see him. He's crouching right there. Take that, you Feral fuck. Ah, he was part of a horde. There he is. Turn around, turn around. Don't show your butt at me. Come on, turn around. Oh, there we go. Ugh. If anyone's listening, maybe you could give me a hand. Where is he? Okay, now he's running around like a maniac. And now the terrain isn't cooperating. There he is. Gotcha. I'll say one thing. I may not have the best aim. I may not have your super shot PC aim. Which, let me tell you, even if I was playing on the PC, I actually have worse aim with a mouse. I have no training in shooting games with a mouse. Uh... It's sufficient, Amy. It, it gets the job done. Better future. The zombies will make us live in theirs. Alrighty, so I guess we'll do some more mercantilism next episode, since we did grab a bunch of stuff. Not sure how valuable the stuff we grabbed was. I don't really, I don't really recall what we picked up. I think it was mainly a bunch of knickknacks. I don't remember anything that really stood out. No weapons. No... Uh, we did get the one gun. We got that devil at SP1. I'm not sure how much that's going to be worth. I don't think it's going to be worth too much, but... We're almost done. Look at that. Up to... We need 70 more influence. We, we definitely looted 70 influence worth of stuff in order to pick... Then we can cancel... These guys' quests over here. I mean, if we could just collapse this... Outpost and then just cancel their mission, and then wait for them to become recruitable. But, yep, we're almost ready to move into the big base. Then we're going to need a ton of building materials. That's why I don't mind I don't mind constructing all this stuff, since when we move bases, it'll all get teared, torn down, and refunded, so it, it's not a big deal. In, in some ways, you could just view it as putting the materials in the base in the form of upgrades is just, just a different kind of material storage in some ways. But at any rate, that's the end of this episode. That's how you get people who supposedly their services don't come cheap. And that's how you get their services for free. At any rate, like this video, visit and subscribe for future State K content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.